Ben Burgess is the leading NSL goal scorer. Giannis. Oh, that's a tough one for the goalkeeper who did well. Did he know much about it? The result was okay, though. Giannis. His uh, set pieces. There's a whole uh, armoured division on his own, isn't it? But when controversial South Melbourne playmaker Con Butzianis got his marching orders after just 15 minutes, Eastern Pride could have been forgiven for thinking this was their match. Oh, wake up call indeed for the men in white. Well, a dream start for the Spirit, but straight away at the other end, Coverley has equalised for South Melbourne. Well, what an amazing few seconds here at North Sydney. The Northern Spirit went to sleep and South Melbourne demonstrating their championship credentials, demonstrating their character, Vaughan Coveney with an immediate response. You would imagine he's very keen to make a point over the last 22 minutes of this match. Caligarakos and Caligarakos has dreaded the eye of a needle. An inch perfect strike from Caligarakos. Henderson caught going perhaps the other way, and that is a very, very impressive finish from the South Melbourne striker. It's good enough to put South Melbourne into the lead. Some pretty impressive options for South Melbourne. It's Butzianis who takes it. And not too far away. Henderson quite relieved to see that one go past the upright. The wry smile from Butzianis. He knows how close that was. Let's have a look at it from behind the goals. Drop with Scotty Thomas not even bothering to chase that one. You just wonder whether he's been on the move. Well, a mistake here from Henderson. Butzianis tries to chip the keeper just over the crossbar from Butzianis. He was entitled to go for goal himself. There was a player inside in Coverty. A rare error from Henderson. Handing the ball to Butzianis. who looked to find that top right-hand corner. Just failed to do so. South Melbourne is keeping possession. They look to extend their unbeaten run to 13 games. And a driving shot from Butzianis clips the crossbar. Well, taking a touch off Henderson on the way as well. So South Melbourne, you would imagine, on their way to victory. Henderson with the fingertips. Despotovsky, two on two. Durakovic maneuvered his way. Into the front posse, won the footy, Tremboli through the gap, Panopoulos, Butzianis, yes! Oh, yes! Well, a humdinger from South Melbourne. They sliced this rock-solid Perth defence open. And they get the go-ahead, they force the issue. Top of the table, South Melbourne are displaying all the trademarks of true champions. Their first goal was a bit fortunate, but they are causing opposition defences all sorts of problems. Convutsianis, the scorer. He's got one of the best left foots in the country, and Butzianis' swerving pass forced Buddy Farah to score an own goal. Disbelief for the newly appointed Lebanon international. It was pace, determination and skill from South Melbourne that earned them a 3-0 lead. Goran Lozanovsky and Butzianis, the providers, as skipper Paul Trimboli finished in fine style.
Kiwi Kovni then unlocked the Marconi offside trap to make it 4-1, but the lanky striker was pointing at the provider, Butzianis, for special praise. Kovni returned the compliment. He found Butzianis with an inch-perfect cross, and the fired-up playmaker headed in from an acute angle. Joy for the South Melbourne Stars. Butzianis then completed his well-deserved hat-trick and the 6,000-plus fans at Bob Jane Stadium were in full voice. The South Melbourne romped home 6-1 victors against their Sydney rivals. Con Butzianis, rumoured to be on the verge of a Socceroo recall, was then the South's culprit, his right foot shot going wide of Canberra keeper Barney Smith. Putzianis, after some left-wing magic, was the provider, but Kiwi international Kovni missed this sitter. In the second half, Souths continued to fail in front of the net, Trimboli's classy flick evading the Cosmos goal. Putzianis then gave Trimboli another chance to settle the match. The National Soccer League veteran couldn't beat the impressive Smith in the Canberra goal. With 11 minutes left on the clock, Free kick specialist Butziana scored with one of his best goals of the season. Smith got a touch, but such was the curl on the ball that it still ended up in the back of the net. Dean Anastasiadis will know the qualities of Butzianis in this sort of situation as well as anyone. Four in the wall for Wollongong. Anastasiadis crouched on his line. In it comes from Butzianis. Con Butzianis, South Melbourne's latest Socceroo recruit, unleashed a superb left foot shot, which got the best out of Catlin, but Vaughan Covney failed to put the loose ball into the back of the net. Another South Melbourne attack saw Newcastle yet again survive, as Lee Sterry's team rarely had the chance to venture forward. In the second half, Catlin deprived Butzianis as Newcastle defended in numbers. It wasn't until the 69th minute that South Melbourne got the goal they warranted. Butzianis' shot was saved by Catlin, but substitute John Anasatsiadis turned quickly to fire home the winner. A blatant foul on South's Goran Lozanovsky allowed the former Socceroo to find the head of new Socceroo recruit Con Butzianis. And Butzianis led the diving celebrations. In the second half, a clever dummy by Butzianis provided Caligarakos the opening to make it 3-1 to South Melbourne after 49 minutes. United were always playing second fiddle to the rampant South outfit, and Butzianis again set up Vlahos. But this time, Hughes came to United's rescue with a timely save. South Melbourne's Con Butzianis was the provider for his side's first goal. Striker Andy Vlahos taking the honours with a simple tap-in. On the stroke of half-time and after a goal-mouth struggle, Socceroo Butzianis made it 2 all with a cool finish. In the second half, Butzianis, the man with the golden left peg, gave South Melbourne the lead, slotting home with his right foot. Just to prove that his second goal wasn't a fluke, Butzianis completed his hat-trick with another right-footed strike after 50 minutes.
Butzianis grabbed his fourth goal of the game with a wonderfully taken free kick as the minor premiers destroyed Spirit in a stunning second half display. A sloppy pass from Diomedes who gets away with it. Petkovic had to come a long way out of his area. Misunderstanding between the South Melbourne defenders, Trimboli nudged off the ball by Stanton. Perhaps the last throw of the dice in this first half for South Melbourne. The free kick played quickly by Souza. Colosimo gets to the byline, chips it deep. Konbutzianis has scored with his head. Well, they are a champion team, aren't they, South Melbourne? A rare attack yields a goal. Credit to both Zelko Souza and Simon Colosimo for their role in the build-up. And Konbutzianis put South Melbourne back on level terms. And have a look at this. How he took his time, little dink, into the danger area, and Konbutzianis out-muscled Matt Horsley and got a great goal. If there's pressure on Wollongong, they're handling it well. Butzianis running outside, gets a feed. Butzianis on his own. Oh, laser beam. Oh, boy! They're back in it. The sub got it. Will lock up a pop chain. <laughs> the flying seat's gone up. Go on, company. Well, it was a soft goal in the end. But you take from where you can get it. And this match, this major semi-final, and this wonderful season is alive again. You could see how Dean was concentrating on He knew he only had to catch it. It was bread and butter for him, but the pressure. He just took his eye off the ball for a split second, maybe looking at Vaughan Company as Paul Trimboli leaves the arena. And that was all the big fella, the big Kiwi needed to... Give South Melbourne a real chance now. Okay, but they need another one just to level it. Don't forget, Wollongong is still in the grand final at this point. And Kalagarakis measured it back for Yosefides. Bailey. Bolton's ball, but uh, Davo Olympic are, are really starting to... Well, big error. This is going to pay. This is going to cost them. Oh, boy. Just as we were wrapping them up, South Melbourne get the match opener and Konbutzianis runs to the crowd. Clint Bolton looks disgusted and the South Melbourne supporters have got a reason to cheer. And I'll tell you what, right now, the Olympic camp will be feeling very, very sick indeed because they were really starting to get the tempo of the game and deliver it to South Melbourne. Konbutzianis, though, well, would they give it to him, uh, Greg? That's the, the point I want to make. Was it Ante Juric? I mean, the goalkeeper was going one way. He knew which way it was going to go. Oh, Ante Juric's hand in the end that could have cost them. Well, we'll have to wait for the referee's interpretation. Clint Bolton is absolutely distraught. Let's see it. Well, oh, oh, oh. well it would have been a penalty anyway, so the referee was quite right to... Uh, Trimboli to run in his legs. Oh, what a ball through. Vlahos. Oh, Bolton. Wonderful. Bolton, you are an absolute gem, Clint Bolton. You won't see better goalkeeping than that from Clint Bolton. Marvellous moments. Trimboli's ball to set it up was a gift from the gods, and Clint Bolton... Well, you mentioned him before, if they do get through this, and even if they don't, Clint Bolton has earned his wages. Yeah, this is the sort of stuff you put a green and gold shirt on for, isn't it? That one was special, but this one, well, that's just miraculous. <laughs> just a marvellous moment. A major surprise to both team supporters was the appearance of Con Butzianis. His feud with the Kings resolved, and Butzianis was back at South Melbourne, adding fuel to the Blues' attack. Con Butzianis's desperate battle to make himself available for South Melbourne's grudge match against his old club, the Football Kings, developed into another fierce off-field battle. 
when the Blues, despite an agreement not to field the exciting striker, included him in the starting lineup regardless. Between the two bottom clubs on the ladder, Panopoulos just spin it off the outside of the boot. That will be another free kick. And uh, again, the infringer. Well, it wasn't rather a strong Markovsky. <laughs> it was a dive too. He has had, he has endured a love-hate relationship with South Melbourne fans over the years, hasn't he, John Markovsky? Yeah, actually adjusting to that new role too would be um, quite a hard transition for him because he's always used to holding the ball up and wanting to have an extra touch. So sometimes, you know, just clearing it out of the back line would be uh, uncustom to him. Puzianos with the free kick off the post. Didn't agree with it. Stevie Osafides was the first header. That was unlucky. But as you were quite right. Three or four minutes to play. Going to take a come from behind win here. They go home to face Marconi next weekend. South Melbourne up at Sydney United. They could get a win here too. Great ball inside. What a great stop. Heroic stop. Clear, please. Butziannis will get the winner. How fitting, Greg. How fitting. Well, that'll be a moment that will be discussed throughout the week, I should imagine. With two minutes left on the clock, Konbutsianis sweeps the ball of that left boot into... Look at the quality. Yeah. Well, that was a great stop, Theocletus, at first, from Panopoulos, but... Butsianis had the opportunity... bit of finesse unhurried Con Butzianis buries it the opening bounce of round 19 of the competition round 19 of 26 South Melbourne who come to this one tenth on the ladder it's as high as they've been all year and showing their best form of the year but they can't afford to drop points Butzianis right at the moment and South Melbourne get the go-ahead goal. He hasn't played since round six at Northern Spirit as a starter when he missed a couple of chances. He comes back against the same team and here's the result. Ahead only briefly early in the second half. It's 1-1 one, one and some footy to come. Coveney. The release from Trimboli was beautiful. Butzianis with the bouncing header! Five in four games for the walking headline. And South Melbourne's season stays alive. Well, they took, took Hutchinson off because Lear was getting in behind him and completely destroying him down this near-hand side. I was starting to question Paul Coveney's participation down the right-hand side, but what a lovely cross. Did Combutziana score, or was it Peter Bullion? Actually, Peter Bullion got a touch, and, you know, we were questioning the move earlier on, but uh, Coveney's gone out there to supply the crosses he did, and Bullion's finished it off, so yes, he did. So. Right, yes, oh, yeah. Panopoulos. At least by Butzianis. Back heel from Panopoulos. Deep cross from Butzianis. And what a save that was from Reddy. Sekolowski it was arriving late. The header was on target. And the young goalkeeper for Parramatta comes up with a good save. Butzianis. Takes the shot himself. And that flashed across the face of goal. Almost a toe poke there from Butzianis, but that is technique. 
That really is technique. There's nothing accidental there about the way Butziana struck that ball. Put him to the near post and Liam Reddy right on the line. Had no choice but to tip that one over the crossbar. On Butziadis was going for goal there. Superb Vesto Diamitris layoff to Kombutsianis in the 49th minute set up Paul Trimboli for the opening goal. And Trimboli a free kick. Trimboli, aided by a slight deflection, doubled South's lead. Trimboli and Kombutsianis and Vaughan Covini are red hot form at the moment and they are red hot aren't they? Well I'll tell you what that man on the screen just a minute ago Eddie Krenchevic was under so much pressure at the start of the season this is the genius of Paul Trimboli he had a little bit of help from Kombutsianis and Vaughan Covini with a great shepherd but uh, he is the man that uh, I'm sure that Damian Morey was talking about earlier as to why they are going to be so threatening. It doesn't matter how old he get, gets, how slow he is. When he gets hold of that ball, he can mesmerise you, and he certainly did that to Clint Bolton. They had so much riding on it this game, and it was 1-0 at that stage, but just before half-time, the killer, again, it was Butsianis to Trimboli, set up Sekulovsky. Thank you very much. Two goals to nil. So at half-time, that is... Well, look at the pleasure there. They have been under so much pressure. That's why the ground announcer said, he said quite categorically, it's 2-0, we're in the top six, and there's only three rounds to go. As if, well, hang on, we don't have to worry about it. From the penalty, Konbutziana showed why they call him the master blaster. I'll tell you what, that would set us up if Mark Carney could... Maybe break the game open before half time, but Butzianis! Oh. oh, you're special! The walking headline from Butzianis. Sometimes for uh, all the wrong reasons, but quite often for moments like that. That was an absolute thumper from Kambutzianis. His 99th career goal. And a beauty it was. South Melbourne up by one. Dare I say, give him a green and gold shirt now for the upcoming Socceroo Games. It'll be largely built up, according to a lot of the pundits. Good ball from Fausto Diamitris. Look how early Kambutzianis looks up. Takes a little, it doesn't even take a touch. That's how confident he was. <laughs> now, South Melbourne are in an absolutely gorgeous position, especially when Kombutzianis is on the park. Kombutzianis. Oh! Just sense that he's going to get his hundred tonight, don't you? Well, where do you stand as a goalkeeper? Michael Turnbull tried standing in the middle of his goal and got pinged with the last one. I mean, he is really having a hard time trying to pick which angle Con's going to go next. Well, he uh, managed to uh, pummel it onto the woodwork from the corner before Butzianis. My goodness gracious me, the tonner with one of the more remarkable goals of the season, Con Butzianis. It is your night. South Melbourne are going to go to the playoffs riding on the back of the brilliance of Kombutsianis. He is worth the admission money on his own. Have a look at this. 100 goals career. What a way to do it. Comedy shields the ball. Did that one. Madoka, oh, he's quick. He's rim fire. Quick little Madoka. That was so very close. 
Seventh corner now to South Melbourne. They are buoyant. Away! Here at the Bob Jane Stadium! Vaughan Colony. Garnish on the dish now. The most unlikely comeback, probably, in NSL history. Is now all but complete as Warren Coveney makes it three. And the ugly duckling that no one wanted at mid year. Well, it's all academic now, really. Let's see who's getting the rest for South Melbourne. Sekulovsky's obviously one of them, it looks like Bootsy. He don't want to come off though. Sekulovsky comes out. And the man to the left of screen just there. It, honestly, it has been his night. He was a story again. He's been back at the club for 13 weeks, waiting. And on probably four or five occasions, he has been the man that has changed the fortunes for South. Vaughan Coveney, the hottest foot in the league in the last few weeks. And a great save of Butzianis with the follow-up. <laughs> Kitten for a moment. You felt that he was going to keep them in the game, but Butzianis hammers at home, and well, the snowball started to roll in round 13, and all of a sudden, South Melbourne now with a three-goal buffer in the elimination round. Do they have a date with destiny? Let's see it again. Kitten picked it, parried it. Butsy buried it. 1-0 South Melbourne in this one.